Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout. If you're like me, at this point in the summer is when you kind of start to get that itch to upgrade your system. Maybe it's that pending release of Windows 10 right around the corner, or maybe it's all those new games that have come out on Steam recently. Uh, but if you're like me, you start to think maybe it's time to change some of those components inside your PC. Well, thanks to our partners and sponsors from Gigabyte, Thermaltake, and Kingston, we have something that's probably going to help you out. We have a build here based around the X99 platform and an Intel 8-core Extreme Edition processor. And more importantly, we're going to give it away at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Today's video is sponsored by Unroll.me. If you are anything like me, you have countless email newsletters flooding your email inbox on an hourly basis. Some of it you want to keep, but most of it uh, you'd rather just disappear. Unroll.me is a service that makes it easy for you to unsubscribe from those annoying newsletters you don't want with a single click while combining the ones you do want in a single email each day. It works with Gmail, Google Apps, Outlook.com, Yahoo, and even AOL Mail. Several of us here at PC Perspective have used the service with great results. Give it a try today for free using the link below. Thermaltake's Core V51 is a mid-tower chassis with an emphasis on space. The curved stylings to the front of the case is a signature of the Core series, as is the ample room inside for building your system and for the inclusion of large and robust air and water cooling setups. The window is large, nearly taking up the whole side panel, and allows enthusiasts to show off their hardware. Inside you'll find cable routing grommets, toolless hard drive and optical drive installation bays that are removable, and plenty of filtered airflow to keep the insides running cool. Gigabyte's X99 Gaming 5P motherboard is ready to go with a host of performance and feature add-ons to complement any Haswell E-based system build. It uses an all-digital CPU power design with third-generation power stage controllers, server-grade chokes, and long lifespan solid black capacitors. It supports two, three, and four-way SLI and Crossfire, and also has lots of options for storage, including M.2 PCI Express, SATA Express, and 10 standard SATA ports. Amp up technology that includes a quad core audio processor, audio specific capacitors, and an upgradable op amp provide excellent integrated audio quality. And killer networking, two ounce copper PCB, and dual bio support are just some of the other features this motherboard offers. Intel's Core i7 5960X processor is basically unmatched in the consumer market, offering eight cores and 16 threads of processing capability at up to 3.5 gigahertz. The Thermaltake Water 3.0 Extreme S is a 240mm self-contained water cooler with a high-performance water block and a high-efficiency radiator. The large surface area and dual PWM fans keep the CPU cool with no issues of installation in the Core V51 chassis. Kingston's HyperX kit of DDR4 memory rated at 2,666MHz brings us 32 gigs of memory. Yes, that's 32 gigs, which should be more than enough for just about any power user. There'll be no need for swap space, and if you've been dreaming about setting up a RAM disk, this might be your chance. For the GPU portion of our system, Gigabyte sent us a pair of its G1 Gaming GTX 960 graphics cards powered by the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 GPU. With 2 gigabytes of memory each and a boost clock speed of 1304 MHz, running a pair of these in SLI will provide ample gaming horsepower for nearly any PC game on the market today, while the triple fan Windforce cooler will keep that silicon running cool and quiet the whole time. The Kingston HyperX Savage SSD is powered by a Fizon S10 controller and is Kingston's fastest SATA SSD to date. Rated at speeds of up to 560 megabytes per second and 100,000 IOPS per second, the Savage SSD will keep your system running quickly without stutter or slowdown. And the 480 gigabyte capacity means you'll have plenty of space for your games and media. Finally, powering all of this is the Thermaltake Tough Power Grand 850 watt power supply. This unit is fully modular, 80 plus gold certified for efficiency and looks great at the same time. With 850 watts of available output, there is almost no hardware this PSU can't handle. Well, for about a total of $2,500, you can build this enthusiast class gaming PC for yourself. For those of you that want to follow along at home, I've included links to all of the specific items in the description below. If you're looking for a couple of things to change, you might consider going with a single higher performance graphics card rather than a, a pair of mainstream cards and SLI. Uh, you could also add a three or four terabyte hard drive into this system for a little bit of 
capacity and long-term storage. Now, of course, the most important part of this video is how we're going to give it away to you. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, Gigabyte, Thermaltake, and Kingston for supplying all these parts for us. They helped us out a lot. And we are uh, going to have the entry methods be fairly straightforward and pretty simple. The first one, you've already done. You've watched this video. And then if you click around here or in the description below, you will see a link to a PCPer.com page that lists all the other details on how you can enter to win this system based on a Gigabyte X99 motherboard, Intel 8-core processor, 32 gigs of memory, and a whole bunch more. We will ship internationally, but be prepared to pay the tariff or taxes uh, in that regard. So once again, thank you very much to our sponsors, Gigabyte, and all the other guys involved as well. And we'll see you next time at PC Perspective.